Hi, I'm Kendra Winchester and welcome back to my channel. Today where I'm going to do the spring reading tag and this was originally started by Amy Jane Smith. I'll link that down below and I saw this on Lauren in the books and she had an open invitation for anyone who wants to do the tag to do the tag. So here I am. So I have the questions on my computer here and so when you see me looking down that's why. So the first question is uh, what books are you most excited to read in the next few months? Um, I'm gonna be doing an entire video on my most anticipated reads for the next two months uh, here in a couple weeks so I'll have all of them there but the main ones I would say off the top of my head are Sophia Khan is not obliged uh, the sequel has also just come out so I want to read that one as well um, and also the levers by Lisa Ko and uh, salt houses uh, that's from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. I can't remember the author's name off the top of my head, but I will put all of these pictures in here somewhere and you can see the titles, authors, and things. And I'm really excited to read some of those, all of those. Hopefully we will see what happens. Um, and there are just so many books. There are just so many books that I really want to read and I feel like I have zero time to read all of them. And yeah. So many. So we'll see what happens. But I'm really excited to get into spring, sit on my little back porch, and just read. It's blissful. The next question is what makes you think of spring? The next question is what book makes you think of spring and why? So I would have to say uh, To Kill a Mockingbird and The Great Gatsby uh, because uh, my senior year of college, Sam was working all weekend and I was kind of moping and so I picked up these books and I just read them all day just straight so I read like Great Gatsby on a Friday night and then I read um, The Kill a Mockingbird all that day on Saturday and I knew nothing about them I just heard them mentioned in class I don't know why I didn't read them in high school um, but yeah it was it was awesome like just going into them blind like that was fantastic I had no idea why I hadn't read them before as I said but hey it's a great spring memory so now anytime we get to that point which is around now um, I think of those books so warm and fuzzies uh, so the days are getting longer what is the longest book that you've read I don't know um, Lorna Dune is up there um, I have Henry Fielding as uh, his book Tom Jones which I wrote a paper on and that's why it has all the tabs in it and this was super long um, I've read The Goldfinch I've also read several Brian Sanderson books which are really long so I don't really know to be quite honest <laughs> um, but there are several um, several options there that could definitely make it up there so we'll see book number four is what books would you recommend to brighten someone's day and that would of course be Harry Potter because Harry Potter is brilliant and amazing I love Harry Potter like it makes me feel happy and wonderful always uh, and yeah so I would definitely say that especially on audio is just brilliant um, also the series of unfortunate events it always brightens my day I don't know if it's my sense of humor but I guess more like middle reader children's books are especially happy and they just they're great so yeah I would definitely go that route if you need something you know cheerful um, it says spring brings new life in nature think up a book that doesn't exist but you wish it did um, okay I wish Neil Gaiman would write the sequel to American Gods that would be great yeah um, I also wish that we had a series written by JK Rowling from a woman's perspective I have not read The Casual Vacancy but I mean you know Robert Robert Galbraith writes you know crime fiction about a dude and yeah there's a woman in it but I feel like all the women in her books are your like secondary characters they're not the protagonists per se and I also wish there was like the Harry Potter series from Hermione's perspective or anything from Hermione's perspective would be fantabulous because yes I love Hermione who doesn't love Hermione um, spring is also a time of growth how has your reading changed over the re years um, I read more print books now um, as well I have also I think have a more well-rounded taste um, I've been reading a lot more literary fiction for the podcast but generally speaking I like to have a mix of nonfiction and middle reader and fantasy and just a whole you know 
smorgasbord of different types of genres so that I keep my reading balanced and also since I do write I don't want my writing to sound like one genre or one note or one author and by varying that it keeps me from getting into a rut or anything like that um so yeah I think that has been great also the number of books has gone up every year the last several years which is good you know that's good. I've been catching up on classics I need to read, which is also good. So I think I've been making progress and the goals I've been setting have done well. Um, I think also primarily being able to read critically has been very important for me. Um, doing close reading and pulling answers from the text and finding a balance in my personal philosophy of literary criticism because everyone has their own, you know, way they read and the philosophy they follow even if they don't even know that that's a thing you just mentally make those I guess rules for yourself maybe that's not the right word but like your way of doing things and so I really like the balance that I have found um so yeah that's cool a little nerdy answer there but um we're a couple of months into the new year how's your reading going it's going fairly well March wasn't great but I am ahead of my minimum goal on Goodreads by 15 books or so. I have an actual goal in mind, in my head, um, but I am reading a lot less graphic novels this year, so I am gonna give myself a little wiggle room because those really, like, pad your, your count there. It's sort of like I don't count picture books for my count, but I think graphic novels have enough text that they count. But I read a ton, a ton last year, so, well, it's going to be lower than last year, which was 200 and something, I don't remember. I have been listening to less audiobooks because I've been reading more, but I that's a good trade, right? Um, and it says, any plans you're looking forward to over the next few months? Um, I'm going to be starting my Harry Potter reread on May 2nd, which is very exciting. And I'm also going to be going to Indie Bookstore Day and be doing the Dewey's Readathon. Now that is the same day, so I'm not doing the whole Dewey's Readathon but um, I am participating in some way and then autumn is coming up for the Indie Bookstore Day so that will be really exciting. You can go travel around to all the random bookstores in the upstate and then my birthday is on May 1st so it'll be an amazing weekend. Indie Bookstore Day, readathon, birthday, and starting the Harry Potter reread or re-listen I guess since I do the audiobooks because I love Jim Dale so much. Anyway I'm really excited for those. So that is the spring tag. Um, if you would like to do the tag, please do so. Um, I would really love to see anyone who wanted to do the tag to do the tag. I think this is a type of tag that is more like everyone should be able to do it and it's a great tag and it's fun. So um, if you would like to do that, please do so. And yeah, I guess I will talk to you later guys. Bye.